Welcome, Adam Bazalgette back here at the Club at Mediterra, Naples, Florida. I'm two-time PGA Teacher of the Year Award winner. I want to talk today about a subject, how to stop chunking your golf chip shots. So how to stop chunking your golf chip shots? Well, I'm going to show you a few things here that can cause you to chunk and thin for that matter. And certainly some recommendations I'd have as to how you can balance them out and avoid that chunk shot. Hope it's going to be helpful to you. Please subscribe to the channel if you like the video. And of course, scratchgolfacademy.com is my home website. In fact, I have a full course on chipping there. Let's get started. So a chip shot, more of a running shot, usually played with something between, say, 7-iron and maybe pitching wedge. Not the sand and lob so much, those are more pitches, and we're going to assume for the sake of this little video here that we're hitting off a fairly reasonable fairway lie, just kind of a moderate length shot. This is a little pitching wedge there. Let's have a look at that magic combo, how we can stop chunking them. So let's describe this as steeps and shallows. Steeps are what I would call coming very sharply down towards the ground with the club. Shallows would be very level with the club even rising. Most times you've got to hit a little bit down, you know, to make solid contact, but you start hitting down too much, you're going to dig shots in the ground, you're going to start chunking shots, etc. So I was at a training seminar for some teaching pros and a featured speaker was a wonderful short game instructor from Nebraska called Tom Siegman. Actually, James Siegman, Tom, his brother, was a tour pro, fantastic chipping instructor. He said something I really liked and he said, look, you can do things a lot of ways. He said, I have preferences, but as long as your steeps and your shallows match out, it's going to work out okay. I love that phrase. So we'll get into exactly what that means. There's combinations of things that cause steepness and things that cause shallowness. I'll give you some preferences, but let's look at some of those. And again, the underlying principle, as James said, is if you can get enough steeps and enough shallows that it's just the right amount, you're going to chip pretty well. So the first one I'd say is really the golf club. Anytime the shaft's leaning forward and the front edge of that golf club is tilted towards the turf, you've added steepness, you've added downward hit. Of course, conversely, leaning it back a little bit makes it brush more, makes you use the bottom of the club more. How much is enough? Well, certainly, depending on the lie, this is a pitching wedge, you've got to have enough to tilt the face onto the ball. You've got to get the sweet spot on there, so that much certainly would be enough. The position of your trunk, the way you set up to the golf ball is going to be a steep or a shallow. The more you tilt your upper body forward, the more your shoulders get this way, the steeper you'll come down. Obviously, the more you tilt back, the less so. Wrist cock would certainly be another. You're not going to have a whole lot of wrist cock on a fairly short shot, but the more you cock the wrist and the more sharply you do it, the more the club comes up. That would be another feature there that would add steepness. And so they go. There's one more I want to show you, and then I'll give you some recommendations that I think would be good combinations that are easy to use. So here's another one. There's our target line. Anytime you're cutting across the target line or coming from the outside, you'll tend to be coming at the ground more steeply. Anything conversely from the inside will tend to bottom out sooner and brush or be more shallow. This probably isn't one of those I'd experiment with and play around with a lot. I'd say the club certainly would come from the inside, but more or less right down that target line at the bottom. But that is a variable. The combination I like best, the one I'm going to recommend to you, is one where the body is more of a steep. It's over here, helps get the bottom of the swing in front of the ball. And once I do that, I really don't need to have any steeps with the golf club. I can feel like the hands are more or less in front of me here. They'll be slightly forward because of my body. And that the club really just brushes along the turf and my body gives it enough forward lean to do the job. I find that to be the most margin for error. I think it's a lot more difficult to get tilted back, get a shallow there and start sort of chopping into the ground there. To me, that's not the way to do it. So let's get my upper body left, nice and soft in the arms here. I can just kind of brush that off there. That brushing sort of technique at the bottom really gives you some margin for error. Let's have a close look. So just practice it, get just enough lean where you'd hit it solidly, but you can still create some kind of a brush mark or skid mark there at the bottom. Once you start to get this kind of a look, that to me is when you're most susceptible to chunking it. So get yourself a good position, just brush it right off the turf. 
So let's close with a couple of ways I think you can work on this. First off, I would definitely recommend checking your setup in front of a mirror sometimes. If you just don't look at it ever, you don't get any concrete feedback, what you think you're doing and what you are doing are probably going to be two different things. Secondly, it's easy enough to practice the brush mark as we just showed you close up. I just get some good graze marks hitting the bottom of the club. Trick, at least for me, I find tricky is getting my body in the right position. Here's the way I work on it. There's a couple of ways. I'll grip it cross-handed left hand below right, that naturally sets my body at this angle. And then I'll feel with the minimum change of body positions, I'll just reverse my hands back. I love that little drill. And the other one I like, this not only helps the setup, but helps you from tilting back, is more or less hitting it off what I call the stork drill. I'll put my left foot there, right foot back, because I've got to get my knee back, and barely balance on that toe. So I've got I don't know, 95% plus weight on that left foot. That keeps me on top of that front leg more this way. And I'll just hit some little short chip shots like that until I just feel the club skid off the ground a little bit, feel my balance is good. Hope those will help you. So I hope that helps you with how to stop chunking your golf chip shots. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like the content. We've got plenty of it here for you. And of course, scratchgolfacademy.com is my home website's full courses in every aspect of the game. Would love to have you check that out. Appreciate your interest in the videos.